This violence is not something that just happened overnight. Of course, it is a culmination of years of fighting, failed peace negotiations and global superpowers jockeying for position in that region. Yeah, so to help you better understand really what's happening, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska spoke to an international studies professor over at the University of Tampa. As we continue to see these horrific events unfolding in Israel, we wanted to get more of a historical context of what's happening between these two groups. We sat down with a professor who told us, really, it's an understatement to say it is extremely complicated. So one could claim the, the conflict has been going on for thousands of years because the region is the birth of the main Abrahamic religions like Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Beliza Marochi is an assistant professor of political science and international studies at the University of Tampa. There are multiple, multiple actors here involved. So I think understanding this complexity is really crucial to understand the conflict. Let's start at the end of World War II. There is a lot of support also for the formation of the state of Israel, especially after the Holocaust, after what happens in Nazi Germany. So the state of Israel will be formed in 1948 and it will be met with a lot of resistance from Arab states and from, from the Palestinians, from the people that are originally in the land. From that point on, it's been a power struggle. Marochi says every country in the region can impact the fragility of peace. There are multiple actors. For example, as we see, Hamas has been supported by Iran. And that is also a very important moment historically. 1979, when Iran goes through this Islamic revolution, Iran also, with the revolution, claims that uh, the reason for the revolution is also to support the liberation of Palestinian people. Another key moment is 2007, when Hamas, a designated terror group, took control of the Gaza Strip. That led to a blockade by Israel, humanitarian crisis, and increased security by Israel to protect itself. And this will then create, of course, a reason for more security around Gaza, right? So Israel will actually have to protect its borders even more because of the rise of Hamas as a legitimate leader now. Now this recent attack by Hamas, Marochi says, is a culmination of everything. The past, present, and future colliding with no end in sight. In the recent years, we see um, that the two-state solution or a solution becomes really difficult to understand what it would look like. Um, and, um, and yeah, and, and the details of the history become blurred. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.